Hey, crafty queens, and welcome to Paper Rain. This is Rachel Bellamy, aka Queenpreneur, and I'm going to show you a small haul. Uh, okay, small is such a relative term, right? But it's a haul nonetheless, and I wanted to show you what I got. So my first place that I went to was Amazon, and from Amazon I ordered um, these uh, these knife these uh, what do they call them? Oh my gosh, lost words. <laughs> Palette knives, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I ordered these palette knives. I had saw them on someone's um, Instagram and I put it in my wish list. It wasn't that they were expensive, I just was trying to be good. <laughs> but then I said, you know what? I wanted um, some new toys to play with and so I decided to purchase them. And as you'll see, I'm taking them out the box and I'm showing you the, it's a package of I believe seven or eight and each one of them has a different cut and they just make marks in the paint and so you'll see me at the very end of the video play with them and they make some amazing marks and you know they some of them have three notches some of them have these little squiggly lines some of them are one-sided some of them are two-sided they're very sturdy they feel really good in your hand they have a really nice weight they're not flimsy at all um these will these will last some time they were 15 dollars i think at best um, I think the name of them, and I'll put the link in the description box, but they were called the H&B Painting Knife Set Palette. Um, that box you see, okay, this is the one that I bought them. This is, I bought the whole set really for this one. I really like the way it looked. It looks like a little crown. Um, it makes some great marks. But anyway, it's called the H&B Painting Knife Set Palette. It's $15 on Amazon. And you'll see, I like this one, those little lines. It makes these little grooves um, when, you, when you pull it across the paint. I think it'll be excellent with heavy body paint and even medium body paint. I also, oh, this is the last one. I also bought some metal palette knives, you'll see. So I bought these that have all these little patterns and grooves in them. And then I bought a, a plain set, but they have different lengths. Um, the handles have different lengths lengths the knife part is different um, and I just I'm just showing you that there's a set of five and that was called the studio 71 five so it's the studio 71 five piece painting knife set and you see here um, that I had it all painted up so stay tuned to the end you'll watch me paint so here's the haul I got from Blitzy I have been um, I watched the cre creativation um, and I saw that uh, Dino Wackley came out with some new paints and I had to have them. So I have the Scribbles 1 set. And so I realized that she had the Scribbles 2 set. And so, of course, I had to order it. And I also ordered some new stencils. Oh, I'm, I'm, wait, let me, let me back up. I'm going to show you. I'm doing a little comparison. So here is uh, the set of the Scribbles 2. Um, beautiful colors. Uh, gray. They kind of look like the other colors, but I'm curious and I'm gonna do a little show you how they are different. Uh, and so now you actually get a good balance. So you have another set, you have black and white, and this one you have a gray and a brown. Um, you have a light green and a dark green, a light blue and a dark blue. So the two sets complement each other. They kind of um, balance out the color palette that you have. And um, I also, of course, bought some stencils because you know I love my stencils I am the stencil queen and so I got some new stencils and these this one here is called um, dashes I believe I really just liked it because it looks like um, feathers and this one is gonna be nice uh, and I got these circles always love a circle stencil so circles and dashes all together you can't beat that then I also got the new paints that she came out with I'm curious if she's gonna come out with them at, in the two ounce bottle or is it the four ounce bottle? But right now she only came out with them in the one ounce bottle. And so I got the colors. So I got mar marine is this color here. And um, I also got, I got two peacocks because I know that I do love to turquoise and I'll use that a lot. I also got um, Sedona, which is a cute orange coral type color I got this olive color and then I got um, the eggplant which is a gorgeous purple and the last one I got was buff so here's a little picture up close of the colors and here they are the paints again so then my next purchase being that I am the stencil queen who was from was from stencil girl 
and I have been waiting for these um, Tracy Batista stencils to come out. And when they came out, I didn't purchase them. Uh, I missed it the first round. And then when I when I finally decided to purchase them, they were out of some. So anyway, I love her. <laughs> I think she's called The One. And I got her in small, and I also got her in large. And I'm grateful um, for the for adding some diversity, some diverse women into the collection. I, I'm gr very grateful for that, um, Mary, Mary Beth. So I appreciate that. So I got this little one. It's called Markings. It's a Tracy Batista. That one just came out. But so back to what I was saying. So I had waited. Okay, this one is called Dripping Face. Um, it's also by Karen, who made the the lady who made the one. She made that too. Um, here is, I love these little frail, um, very busy stencils that Tracy creates. So I think now I have all three of them. And so this is the one. This is the one that I think everybody must have bought it because the first round that it sold out. And so when I went to go buy them, you know, I like to get the discount. You buy six, you get, you know, the seventh or anything over six, you start getting a discount. And so if I was going to order them, I wanted to order them all. And so I had to wait until they came back in stock. And so I'll, I will... Um, post what the names are of them but they're all like soulful scribbles maybe one is called unfold and one is called um dots dash that's the one that i i miss i missed the first round and then they have flourishes let's go and unfold and so i have all of them and here's here is the one i'm going to use when i play it's, it's it's a beautiful stencil and so so now i'm just going to play and um, I'm going to fast forward it and not talk and just let you, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm doing here. So I'm just testing out, I'm just testing out the, um, colors here and, uh, I put them all on. I said, what the hey, right? All I can do is make mud and mud's not so bad. So I put them all on here because I'm going to use, I'm going to use one of the Tracy Batista, um, stencils. And I, what I do like about the little one ounce applicators is that they're, because they're, the applicator is so fine, you don't put a lot on there. Now see how gorgeous those marks are? I mean, they make great marks. That's the one that I like, the little crown. Look how it pulls the paint and leaves these little marks and impressions. And so I'm just showing you some of the, the various, um, some of the various tools. Excuse my little background helpers. They, they insist on being, <laughs> They were supposed to be sitting quiet. Anyway, nevertheless, a little giggles, that's them. Look at that gorgeous stencil. So I put it down on a piece of paper and I'm gonna do a pull, a first pull. And I'm just gonna play a little bit. So, but I wanted to see how the paints, oh, I mean, can, 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 you, can you get better than that? So that was an old, actually that was an old pull. It already had two or three layers on it. And right now I'm just picking up, I'm gonna use this stencil. Um, I'm using some, probably some prints that I, I think are ugly <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna play on them just to play with the paint I really have no intentions I'm not trying to create a masterpiece I just like to play with my stuff when I get it so that I know what it looks like and how it feels and so these are some old mold mold prints and I'm just taking some color off of the off of the stencil and taking color off of the plate. Wow, look at that. So that's the paint that is on the back side of the stencil. Like that itself is a piece of art. And then on the other side, it looks like it's getting gross, right? But don't worry, it's gonna get better with time. I'm learn I'm learning that about jelly printing. You know, if you just keep putting layers and keep putting layers, um, the pictures turn out. And so I'm just putting more paint on it and it's soaking up some of the various paint. And uh, it's creating depth on my my paint, and I have I have some more. Um, I'm yeah. pulling old prints that are up on that are in the file organizer to my side. I really like having them there because then I can just keep adding layers um, to my prints. And I'm putting down some buff. I'm gonna try to pull up some of the paint that's on there let me um pause and get, get clear the room so you don't have to hear all the background noise hold hold one okay so i put down some buff and what i'm really trying to do is just pull up all the remaining colors and remaining pattern um onto a new onto a pool and so i probably put way too much paint down but you know that that's that's 
That's the story of my life, it seems. I always put too much paint down. Um, yeah. <laughs> Trying to record with kids is always a challenge. But they are the joy, right? So anyway, so uh, any day now, I'm going to put some paper down <laughs> and make the pool. Okay, here we go. So we're just going to make the pool. And um, let's see what we got. Uh -huh. I'm just going to try to pull up the side. So I'm using, what you, why you see I'm able to use this 11 by 17 paper is because I'm using a 12 by 14 plate. It is my go-to plate. I love that plate. I can, I can do so much on it. It's, it is, it is, it is the plate I, I defer to always. Now on the side, what you don't see is that I'm also using a five by seven plate. And sometimes I use that as kind of my, my, um, my paint palette like I'll put my paint on the side and um, and I'll pull off right now I'm just trying to let it dry a little bit and um, so that I can pull up all the paint what they say is nothing more boring than watching paint dry literally right okay so I'm pulling it off and I get a lot of the colors come up but I still have some remaining but I, look how yummy that is right like you wouldn't have thought that I would have got this so here's I'm just showing you the prints this was my favorite print that was the first print where I used all these colors and I, as I mentioned I already had like two or three layers so if you liked what I my videos I would love for you to subscribe like or comment and here's my question of all the stuff that I bought which product is your favorite product please leave me a comment and uh, have a little special treat my son accidentally took this picture and I think it's a great capture of me telling Priscilla about some stencils thank you so much and have a great day bye-bye